nice to see you too. Hi, Dr. Stuka. <laughs> it's a visit to the doctor's office minus the office. I thought it was cool. <laughs> 12-year-old Ellie Abel getting her allergy prescriptions refilled from the comfort and safety of her home. You know, we're done for the year. <laughs> we don't have to. Um, we, our annual appointment is, is done. Our prescriptions are refilled. All of our questions were answered. It's been a smooth transition for pediatric allergist Dr. David Stukas and his patients. It's really easy. They're very used to communicating you know, by text message or social media or things like that. So this is much more natural for them. One in five Americans now say they've used telemedicine and would do so again, according to a recent survey. The pandemic further driving demand. 80% of doctors say they've seen patients virtually due to COVID-19. Numbers that will likely continue to go up as some regulations are lifted, expanding access, at least temporarily, for Medicare and Medicaid patients. Providers using it for everything from routine visits to urgent care, even initial screenings for coronavirus. We're just seeing an incredible range of what telemedicine can do. Dr. Jason Halleck at SOC Telehealth has treated patients virtually for over a decade and believes first-time users will appreciate the convenience and access to specialists nationwide. We think after COVID-19 there'll be a new balance uh, nationally and that probably 25 percent of the care provided in hospitals may be done by telemedicine in the future. Telemedicine powering up to meet unprecedented demand. Sarah Dolliff, NBC News.